<coughs> Pretty cool. Uh, just pop this some bitch. All right. All right. What? What? Really quick. We're recording again. Yeah. All right. Uh, <coughs> what are we talking about today? Uh, well, we gotta welcome our special guest, um, Sean, <laughs> Mr. Doctor Sean, in his uh, my dad's a lawyer pants. <laughs> my dad's a lawyer pants. This oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know. Yeah. Trying to class it up. Just uh, recycling like earlier real. day jokes. It's all right. Hey, babe. So no one's heard there. I, was, I wasn't there for those. Yeah. So is why neither I was. I was confused. Um, Sean, what what do you like to talk about uh, in the science world? I don't know. All right. Well, what are you guys interested in? Okay. Uh, uh, no, no, I'm good. It's Thanks. The benefits of fidgets. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, I no. <laughs> I intentionally didn't touch certain topics because uh, Sean was going to be here. He's oh, be. Hey. Um, be. hey. <laughs> so. A little foamy, careful. You can talk. Yeah, you can talk. Let's, um, I think we should start with a <laughs> personal question. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. Mm. Let's get personal. Um, let's get personal. So... Four and a half inches. Why? <laughs> Five and a half inches. Why? Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> why not? <laughs> oh. All sorry. right, episode over. I'm sorry. <laughs> Wrap it up. Can we stop? Try <laughs> again. Right, yeah. Not another room. Um, uh, so, mm. Actually, why? Why? Cardboard. Why? <laughs> Why did okay. you pick physics? Why did you get into uh, physics initially? So, when I was a little kid, I would read, like, these pop sci books by, like, Neil deGrasse Tyson and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I always thought they were cool, like, you could think about what was going to happen if something went into, like, a black hole or something. Mm -hmm. Or, like, what the universe was going to end up doing and stuff like that. Cool, man. Yeah. And when were you reading these books when you were a kid? Yeah, like, middle school. Interesting. So, yeah. you... Sure. I've known you for a long time, man. You've always been interested in yeah, the science stuff, really? That's yeah. cool. That's yeah. awesome, man. I never struck you as, um, like, someone who was... No, yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, listen, me and Sean go so far. We were in Boy Scouts together, oh, dude. Oh, man. Cub Scouts. Cub Scouts. Remember that? I remember that, yeah. Um, so, I never struck you as, like, a science person. Until you went to college, I knew you were studying physics. So, that's really interesting. Yeah, man. Um, okay. So, you jumped into physics in college, right? Now, Basically, yeah. What did you think initially? Like, you're taking intro physics. What did I think initially? And all that stuff, yeah. So I thought it was really cool that I could uh, start predicting, like, how much fuel I'd need or, to put in a rocket to get off Earth or something like that. Right. Yeah. It's important or, like, for... like, uh, figuring out how much the sun weighs or stuff like that. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Um, I personally... Uh, got into physics because I like it was. I felt like it was the only class in college that I found to be useful. I found like I learned. <laughs> that, I mean, Screw home ec. It's, no, it's, <laughs> it's one of the only <laughs> ones that like college. you don't have oh, to like college, oh, just man. memorize yeah. stuff because people yeah. are telling you to memorize. Like, exactly right. Yeah. You're absolutely right. Um, I felt like it. Like you're you're right. You f you figure things out on your own. It's not. It, you don't have to memorize it and regurgitate it on a test. It's like it's a whole different way of doing stuff. Right. Yeah. Um, I thought it was useful at first, but let me tell you why I really got into physics. Um, I really got excited about physics uh, when I got like upper level stuff. When I started taking like modern <laughs> physics and uh -huh. that stuff, and suddenly you're questioning like what time is, like, <laughs> and you're questioning what fucking mass is and what like these things even mean fundamentally. What distance is, you know? Yeah. Um, Rated podcast. You can say whatever you want. He's so fucking. <laughs> you got a phone? He's, he's speaking in sign language now. <laughs> um, we're releasing this podcast in sign braille. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Don't worry. It's fine. Um, so I got. <laughs> I think you mean ASL, but that's fine. Fucking whatever. Yeah. <laughs> the CIA. Or whatever. Some <laughs> acronym. Um, I, I got. <laughs> <laughs> Morse code. <laughs> um, all right, so yeah, I got I got into physics because it got me questioning those things, you know. Um, so, so you're in intro physics and you're thinking about these things. You're predicting uh, like how much like rocket, what fuel you'll need, how much the sun weighs, all this stuff. So, what are you thinking when you take modern physics for the first time? Oh, when I take modern physics yeah. for the first time, what were you thinking? Um, hmm. Well, I thought it was really cool that things were different and that, um, like, there were these new effects, like time dilation, length contraction, Fuck, man. and all these, like, paradoxes that, yeah. like, were really hard to resolve, like, at the time when you're just learning them, like, 
like there's this train paradox like <coughs> when uh um so really fast things you probably know mm -hmm. if they're moving past you it looks like they're shorter than they actually are when they're sitting still mm -hmm. so the idea is in the frame of the train it looks like he's not going to fit inside the tunnel because the tunnel looks really short to him but from the frame of the tunnel the frame the train looks really short so mm -hmm. it looks like he's going to fit inside the tunnel so like which one is it right yeah. like what is so, true like you can really think about those for a long time totally and, um, isn't the answer to that like in one frame it ha like it, he's in this tunnel simultaneously but in the other frame it's like he enters one yeah the, like the, of... the events get out of order yeah so yeah. like um, these ideas that we have from like our common sense are just wrong right yeah, so. <laughs> because we don't <laughs> it's just off we don't small yeah. perspective because yeah. we don't live where like the speed of light is so we don't have an intuitive idea of what's going on there you know hmm. um it's, it's interesting, like, as you take science throughout school, like, they always rely on your intuition. Like, whatever you think is going to be right is the right answer, right? But we're finding that in when we push it to the extremes, your intuition could lead you the wrong way, yeah. you know? My Calc 1 teacher once said that calculus was just common sense. <laughs> so, I, they really <laughs> rely on that. Maybe yeah. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, I don't think it's common sense. <laughs> probably not. It's, it's probably not. cultivated common sense. I mean, it's like, I mean, like, we, we kind of think of, like, speed, though. Like, like I mean, speed, if, as soon as you have something moving and changing, you have calculus, right? Yeah, pretty, like, a lot of the ideas are just intuitive. Yeah. But, like, they're asked in really Yeah, ways. in crazy ways, yeah, right? so. Totally. Yeah. Okay. So, um, all right. So, I could talk about what you do, right? Like, so. Uh, all right, so you so you took the intro to physics, you took modern physics, you you're now in a doctoral program. Yeah, man. And so you're doing theoretical research studying quantum gravity, right? Yeah, man. So those are two things I deliberately did not touch because I knew my buddy Sean was coming here. You read the biography before you came. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> it's in stores, Amazon.com. <laughs> um, <laughs> So, uh, all right, so I didn't touch quantum, I didn't touch gravity. Okay. Um, can you... All right, let's... How about you talk about what you do, and then we'll go from there. So, like, what are you yeah. looking at? What are you looking so, at exactly? Uh, um, a lot of theories of quantum gravity are hard mm -hmm. to deal with mathematically. Okay. Like, um, you know, you'd have to have let a computer go through an infinite number of logical operations to get even, like, a little bit... Right. Of data. So our computers are just not it's, powerful. It's though. not going not gonna to work, man. Right. So um, what we're looking at is like effective ways of doing things. Mm -hmm. Like getting 99% of the answer okay. for like pretty good. none percent of the work. Ooh. Yeah. I like that so, trade-off. Yeah. Because... Uh, it's huge. It's, it's huge. amazing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. So you know, we could turn this into a political chat pretty quick. Right there. Uh, that was so the pivot. <laughs> But yeah, um, so for instance, my advisor, who you know I can't really name, right, of course. but um, he did some stuff where um, he was looking at this theory of gravity, which I'm also not going to name. <laughs> and um, you know, he applied some symmetry reductions, like saying a lot of these degrees of freedom in the theory aren't so important, and so he just ignored them basically right and was able to get some neat results like for instance uh as so classical general relativity right predicts okay. that Cla classical, yeah, classical general relativity yeah so uh like without quantum mechanics it's basically yeah. what classical means okay um is that if you trace back time long enough eventually the universe goes to a, a point right that's where like, the big bang comes from right yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. but um that that kind of worries a lot of people yeah like uh most people think that's like not what's going to happen like you'll never get such high densities or curvatures right. and so quantum mechanics will eventually have to play a role right because once you get small enough then a new rule system has to take over right oh, i spilled so, some beer on myself it's, it happens it's okay. <laughs> so when we're talking real big we're talking general relativity which explains gravity at a high level right uh -huh. yeah. and pretty accurately like it works pretty well yeah 
But the thing is, like, if we believe that the Big Bang happened, right, where everything started, it's the smallest infinitesimal point, uh-huh. then at some point, you had to get small enough that you're dealing... Am I talking too loud? No, you're no, no, no you're facing away from the mic. Oh. Right. <laughs> um, we can all have a conversation while we're looking at the same. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy with a hat. Um, so, fucking, you got small enough where quantum takes over, but, gra- like, doesn't nothing He's in fine. quantum explain, like, predict gravity? Uh, or yeah, so uh, the the <laughs> what do you mean by that? <laughs> well, like, um, like all I know is like, so we have particle physics, right? And we have like the the particles that mediate the forces. Uh-huh. We only know that a graviton exists because we experience gravity at this big scale, uh-huh. right? So does anything like we know that quantum things can have mass, right? Uh-huh. But like, does quantum imply gravity at all does it arise from the theory or is it just a is that just something that we experience here so we know it has to exist at that scale yeah so uh, the way we know uh, quantum mechanics implies like particles and stuff mm-hmm. is we look at certain symmetries of certain theories okay for instance the standard model is like u1 cross su2 cross su3 how you doing, James? And you with us? I'm <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, you know. Sorry. Did you see me glaze? <laughs> you caught me glazing? It's, it's not important. The words aren't important, right? Like a but, donut. But it, it turns out that these the three symmetries are... Uh... Dude, wait, hold on. So, uh, Sym- symmetry is super important in physics. It's super important. Super important. Um, like... And I even understand, like, the minimum amount of it. Like, I know certain things arise because of broken symmetries, right? Mm. So, can you explain what you mean by symmetries as best you can? Yeah, so, uh, for instance, if I do an experiment, here, yeah, right, I get, I, I get a result out, right? That's a very yeah. shocking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I wait a here. thousand years and I do the same experiment, right. I'll get the same result. Okay. That's a symmetry in time, right? Yes. It turns out that that corresponds to the conservation of energy. For every symmetry, there's a conserved quantity. Ooh, I didn't know that. Yeah, it's uh, Noether's theorem. Noether. Like Emily Noether. Emily? Emily Noether, yeah. Wow, okay, yeah, that's cool. So, you know. um, all right, so time symmetry means that no matter when in I do this experiment, it's going to have the same result. Right. That's what time symmetry is. Exactly. So how does that relate to the conservation of energy? Yes, yeah, so... Uh, um, you know, uh, <laughs> so you write the generator of the symmetry and the Poisson bracket. With oh, the Poisson Poisson bracket. And zero. I love these words. You forgot and... the Poisson <laughs> bracket, bro? <laughs> Remember? That name sounds so familiar. I did something Poisson. What was Poisson uh, that I did? It's Poisson. another uh, way of formulating classical mechanics. Okay, maybe that's what yeah. I did. And it's, I feel like it was in math, though. What was it? Poisson, Poisson, Poisson distribution. Poisson distribution. Yes, Poisson that's what I saw. Poisson and Poisson's equation. Okay. That's the other things I know okay, with right. that guy. <laughs> we'll be back with more words you don't know. <laughs> <laughs> um, we should do... Remember you were talking about doing like the, the scientist histories or whatever? Yeah, yeah. I was the one to do that. Poisson's on the list. Poisson? Poisson. Afternoon. After, uh, no, oh, dude, I can't Noons first. Noons we should noons. mispronounce him as poison the whole poison. time. <laughs> it's just, ah. just po- that girl name. is poison. Yeah, yeah, that's the one, right? No, that's, it. that's what he was singing about. I'm gonna play oh, with a fidget spinner. Oh, I don't care. Cool. Put it you away. Can't, you can't stop him. Um, okay. All right. Been punished. All right. So Comes up on the right. mic. Let's go back to the symmetry thing. Uh, is everyone with this so far? Right. How? <laughs> yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on, listen, listen, Super listen. On. Just stay with us for the symmetry The thing. boat of understanding is sailed <laughs> on it. It's I pretty, it's, it. like, all the, the things you hear front. people bullshitting about in physics, though, can somehow be linked to some sort yeah, of symmetry. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Which so, is cool. So wait, if I understand symmetry, the way mm-hmm. you described it, is there are certain things, you, your example was time. Mm-hmm. If This thing will take this much time, and that is because of the conservation of energy. Or, so, rather, like, uh... You can um, do an experiment, change mm-hmm. something, do the same experiment, get the same result. Okay, so even with so, a, an altered detail... Like, for instance, right. uh, the difference between left and right, is there is no difference. Okay. Yeah, like that okay. kind of symmetry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, there's something the same in both. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're changing one quantity. If that quantity change has the same result in both things, then you have symmetry there. Right, yeah. Okay, yeah. So time symmetry, if we change time and everything else is the same, then we have time symmetry. 
Spatial okay. symmetry okay. gives you momentum. Can you do that? Ooh. Uh, yep. Conservation of momentum. Uh, mm -hmm. U1 symmetry gives you the conservation of the electric charge. Okay. And then there's some others. What is U1? I guess that's just that's a math, math, math thing that pops out of it? Yeah, it's more or less a math thing. Okay. It's like the phase of the wave function. Oh. But, interesting. Know, yeah, it's high okay. science. Okay. So, <laughs> that's um, what we're here for. <laughs> yeah. So you can do experiments in different times, right? I could do it now, or I could do it later. And if I get the same thing, then it's time symmetry, right? You just can't do it before. But we could also, yeah. <laughs> You're not going to go back in time. Well, because, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, you can have spatial symmetry where you do it at the same time but at different places. I was just thinking about like if we did like a Newton episode uh -huh. and then we went back and like interviewed Newton, that would be rad. Yo. I'm just saying. <laughs> we could do it before. We could right, someone with really wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hey, <laughs> everyone in town says you're really fucking weird. <laughs> How do you feel about that? <laughs> I don't know. I'll just drink more mercury. It's fine. <laughs> You know, he next stuck, time on history, he a pin in his eye once. Oh, news to see what would happen. Yeah. That probably is would so hurt. Scientist, <laughs> <laughs> fucking hurt. <laughs> wow, he's like it's crazy. Okay, diffraction's gonna Diff happen. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> all right, fucking, I can't wait to talk about Newton now. Um, pin in the eye. I'll get a, I'll get a biography. All right, a couple of them. So yeah, dude. Um, James can do high history. Oh yeah, That's yeah, man. Like. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, you, um, you were, you were. Teaching me about the war. Yeah, I really I, I like <laughs> I like the history stuff. I can't remember formulas. That's all right. It's not important. <laughs> but I can recite all of World War Two. You want to know everything about the Mongolian Empire? <laughs> everything. You know who else could do that? Oh, I guess we shouldn't say yeah, names. Stop. But, yeah, I'm what sorry. You're saying. There's yeah. a person. There's uh, a person. Dan Carlin's hardcore history is super great. <clears throat> Uh, I do want to hear who does that though. Later. 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 Uh, it's all right, a certain so someone who's also pictured in a certain picture on. It was Robbie's Einstein. Mantle. Oh. Oh, mantle. Conversation is over. It's over. Yeah, sure. we're, we're, yeah. right. Anyway, anyway. So, mantle. Okay. Mantle. All right, so symmetries. When symmetries happen, physics happens, right? Yeah. It's like something that's going on. So, what does it mean to break a symmetry then? So, uh, for instance, if I had a collection of atoms. Okay. And they have Just random polarizations, like uh, their dipole moments are pointing in all different directions. Okay, right. So, so atoms could point in a direction. Okay, right. okay. you're cool with that? Yeah, no, we, I think we went over that. We, in the, the it's going to make sense in a second. Yes, yes. yes. But, but um, if you make the temperature cold enough, mm -hmm. eventually their spins will start to align rather than misalign. Interesting. And that makes a magnet. Hmm. So it makes magnetic fields. Right, right. So, if everything's pointing uh, in the same direction, but, that's when... But, Rather than having no special directions, there's now right. a special direction of north right. versus south. So that's a symmetry break, right? Because north a, is favored over south. Right. It's yeah, because now you have this uh, axis that's special rather right. than not having any special axis. Totally. So that's a broken symmetry right there. Okay. Um, so what now? What would a, what wow. does a broken symmetry mean to us? To you guys. Um, I don't know. Like, why is... <laughs> like, like, broken is kind of scary. Yeah. Like, what so, about it's uh, broken, per se, that, that there is no symmetry? There? So, so in the standard model, right, we say we have these collections of symmetries, and these lead to the particles that we see. Mm -hmm. The idea is that at some point in the universe's history, there was some grander symmetry that broke into these current symmetries. Right. And uh, now we see what we see. Mm. And we can hmm. get a theory of, like, if we could figure out the grand unified symmetry, yeah, we could better understand exactly. the symmetries now. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, if, so, like, in um, particle physics, right, the reason why we have, remember we talked about particle physics? The reason we have different particles, we have an electron, we have a muon, we have a tau, whatever. The gluon? The gluon. The reason, so, the reason why they're different is because the like, symmetry was broken, right? Yeah. Um, so, like... Like, if we didn't have the Higgs, everything would be going the speed of light, right? Essentially, yeah. yeah. That's what gives particles their, right. their masses. Exactly. And what gives it mass is that it slows it down a little bit, because it has to move through the Higgs field. Hmm. All right. But that's... All right. Big delicious yeah. jelly field of Higgs. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Um, Slug. Okay. Blood. So, hold on. All right. Let's just let's just get context I mean, I real I could quick. be going light speed right now. Right. With some chubby Higgs bosons in the way. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what's happening, dude. Accurate. Accurate. <laughs> Uh, but, like, you wouldn't be you, though. Your particles are just, like, scatter <laughs> off like crazy. That's fine. Yeah. <laughs> maybe okay maybe even ads. better. There's no taxes <laughs> and bills. That's true. Ugh. Ugh. real. 
think they just want to be scattered particles over light speed. <laughs> Fuck you, Higgs. So hold on. The weirdest thing about all this is like this crazy stuff where like everything points in the same direction. So like the broken symmetry or whatever. But like what we're trying to do is explain the rules of the game, right? The rules of how the universe works. You know what I mean? And like God the, was like, it's time to play the game. It's time. <laughs> Dude, it's crazy that like we live in a... A predictable universe in a sense, right? Isn't that like it doesn't have to be that way? It doesn't. But you can know what's going to happen before it happens. Yeah, we, we can know that. Stuff. Stuff. We're doing it now. Yeah, dude. Um, I mean, we're wrong a lot, but we do it. You know, <laughs> we're but, supposed to rain today. <laughs> yeah, well, dude, weather is fucking hard, dude. Yeah, weather. You know how many things they have to keep track of? Man, you just dude. told me that the Higgs boson is slowing <laughs> me down from light speed. You're like, fucking weather's hard. <laughs> <laughs> <It's> fucking... <laughs> Man. Dude, listen uh, to me. You move your arm, right? Yeah. You move some air around you. That shit goes out the garage. It starts moving the air out there. Okay, okay. <laughs> get off the butterfly effect. Get back. We're like, right, you're yeah. talking. All right, we're right. totally <laughs> talking. Okay, so, all right. So, back to what the research is. Uh, physics happens because of broken symmetries, right? Magic. At the quantum level. At the quantum level. Okay, <laughs> so is there a broken symmetry that would... <laughs> Is there a broken symmetry that makes gravity happen? Uh, we don't know. Okay. Uh, so, you know, there's there's lots of theories of gravity, uh -huh. and we just don't have a lot of data. <laughs> um, How about you tell us what you think? Yeah, what I think. Um, so I don't know either. <laughs> Pick a theory. <laughs> He's a theory. Well, the thing is, like, you don't have to subscribe. To a theory, you could just know a bunch. You of could them. just know of them and see where the data takes you to which one explains it the best, right? Yeah. You don't have to like bet on anyone, right? I mean, you could. I mean, you could say I this one's underground scientist yeah, betting. One's Who's got Vegas odds? I want to know. I want to know. Yo, is that something we should start well, though? So wait, yeah, give are, us at least one that you find equal? viable. What? They'll give us at least one of these theories that you consider. Yeah. So viable. loop quantum gravity is pretty nice, okay? <laughs> because. Um, it doesn't require a classical background. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, string theory assumes that there's some underlying space mm -hmm. that's just God-given, and that okay. strings are literally living inside that space, and all of us are living on the strings. Okay. Which is, you know, like, what? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> I went to college where we had John Hagelin, who was all about that shit. Uh, <laughs> he was an idiot. Dude. Yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> Whoever that is. I actually don't oh, know he, who he's, he is. He's, he's like the... Bald man making a lot of money on that version of string theory, oh, dude. Cool. That's my it's, college has one required science credit, and it was physics, oh, so and it was string theory physics. Mm. I okay. didn't take physics, any form of it, in high school, and the the one hundred and one science course in my college was string theory physics. Wow, one hundred and one. You had to take it. You had to. <laughs> yes, you don't graduate without it. Wow. I was like, I don't know any science. Like, I, I'm not. This. We got this good guy. You, you gotta listen to him. Yeah, he's great. Wow. He's great. Yeah. He only chooses women. <laughs> oh shit! He, he never answered any one of my questions. <laughs> don't don't you do that? With your job? <laughs> no, stop. All right. All right. All right. All right. What is the name of this episode? All right. Hold on. Hold on. Really quick. Right. Wait, and right. this is and <laughs> interspersed with lots okay, of bullshit. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Uh, I have something to say. <laughs> Oh, oh man, oh, unknown God. burn. But no like, one will ever true, know. But accurate? <laughs> Fuck you. It's like, it's. I feel like it's important to know. What were we talking about? Uh, we're quantum. Oh, yeah, quantum gravity. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, hold on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you go, yeah, you, so, you go. So, you go. Uh, yeah, loop quantum gravity doesn't yeah. require, or require a background, right? It's right. just atoms of space stitched together. Okay. Uh, don't touch that. Okay. And this leads to uh, space being discrete mm -hmm. and stuff. So, so space is discrete. Yeah. Well, what, we hope. What that means oh, is that know. that what that means to me is that you can divide up space into a smallest unit of space, an yeah, atom of yeah. space. Below a certain length, it doesn't mean anything. Planck length, right? Yeah. yeah. Remember the Planck length? Yeah, it's <laughs> the fucking Planck length. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we talked. Yeah. Um, it's like three and a half. Okay. <laughs> so why? Th so then why can't we go smaller than a Planck length? The, um, why is that the smallest? Yeah, that's a good question. Thing? Yeah. You know, you use dimensional analysis. <laughs> you... Okay, it's dimensional yeah. analysis. But yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. Why not, though? <laughs> well, this episode is going to be called Big Words. Big Words. Okay, hold on, hold Big on. Big Words on. and Bullshit. <laughs> so, isn't it we can't put enough 
we there's not like we can't if we tried to go smaller than a plonk length. It would require so much energy, and we don't so have that. Energy. Yes, is that what I'm trying to get at? Or uh, you literally can't. You literally can't. Yeah. Or it just is nothing. It doesn't even make sense to ask that question. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Like Does spaces it... comes in discrete wow. packets. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. All right. And uh, like discrete volumes, like yeah, you can only have a certain low volume. Okay. And then after that, there's like a gap. That you can't have volumes in there. Is that why in quantum physics things will pop out of like existence and pop into like you know what I mean like jump those energy yeah. levels? So uh, that's a uh, what is it the high, the exclusion principle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So uh, that that's a little different. It relies on the same math though. Okay, interesting. The very same math. Mm -hmm. um, so the exclusion principle is like a, involves a Schwartz inequality. Oh, and commutators and loop quantum gravity. <laughs> <laughs> Schwarzenegger. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that's like it's so cool though that like I don't know. I, I like talk, like I like figuring out where my line of knowledge is, and it's right there. I don't know nothing yeah. about any of that. You know what yeah. I mean? <laughs> Fucking. <laughs> There's lots of ideas, and but zero. no one has. <laughs> about right. the Schwarzenegger yeah. equivalent. All right. <laughs> <laughs> So. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, so, all right. What you're trying to do, in general, uh -huh. is you're trying to bring quantum and gravity together, right? So we talked about like, and we were trying to make sense of it. Uh huh. Okay. As an idea, mm -hmm. is what you're trying to do. Okay. Um, all right. Do you think we have time? What, how, how long are we in? You heard like 25 minutes. Okay, okay good, good. Oh, okay, right. so yeah, we're, can we're we, nowhere. can <laughs> we, we said talk nothing. about, can we talk about what, so we, everyone knows gravity, right? Gravity's happening, we're, and like the reason, the different ways to explain it is fine, but we could experience gravity. Everyone has an idea of what it means. But can we talk about quantum physics? Sure. As like, what it's, what the fuck is going on? <laughs> as like that, you know what I mean? Yeah, it's, uh, it's people fucking... still like don't, understand things i don't understand things like man. uh like wave function collapse yeah and okay so like <laughs> is the new episode right. what the fuck is quantum <laughs> physics and bullshit and bullshit <laughs> okay listen listen so we we were trying like or, or in the 20s or whatever right we started getting these <laughs> experimental results that went so fucking against what we were trying to predict was happening and it was freaking us out, right? Dude, in like three years, you're going to have to specify 1920s. Yeah, right. Oh, it's interesting. Christ. I didn't even think oh, about that. <laughs> wow. I mean, I the would 20s. say you still have to specify because I, I could go, in the 1820s, everything about <laughs> physics. <laughs> Quantum <laughs> physics did that. <laughs> I mean, the it's Greeks true. might have thought of it in like 300. <laughs> Every episode, do we talk about the Greeks at one point or another? Oh, that's just important. Can't, they they, they gotta recognize. They were smart. All right. Smirt. So listen, you remember we talked about the ultraviolet catastrophe? Yeah. It was a catastrophe. It's a catastrophe of <laughs> so, ultraviolet. And, and, um, it was horrible. It was we real tragic. Tragic. What we were predicting was literally opposite of what we were observing, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking. I don't even know what you said. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it was terrible. All right. Um, but. Okay, so quantum physics makes all this okay. It, like it, it, it matches the experimental results, right? And that's what science is all about. Science is all about having an explanation that matches experimental results. But it goes so against what like we think should be true that, that I think that's why everyone is having a problem with it. There's no way to imagine what's going on because you can't even. You have no perspective. It's different yeah. than you anything you don't see you're familiar with. Yeah, I'm good. I don't. <laughs> I don't, Literally every time. I don't see loop gravity theory when okay. I'm making coffee. All right. So <coughs> driving my car. All right. Do you remember how <coughs> we said that light could be a wave and a particle, like yeah. wave particle duality, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Quantum physics <coughs> is that. If you could, if you could get on board with that, you'll be on board with all of quantum physics. But that's a hard thing to get on board you're, with. You're really gonna like it. Yeah, you're really gonna <laughs> love it. Dude. Get on the quantum physics bus. Um, so fucking, okay. I just had deja vu. Like, it feels like that happened before. You got on a quantum physics bus full of cookies? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. thing, like, this moment, it feels like it happened. It happened already. It was a glitch. Maybe it did. Mm. I think you listened to our podcast already. <laughs> Maybe that's You did it from before! 
game changer. <laughs> um, what the fuck were we talking about? Uh, <laughs> uh, quantum physics, oh, yeah. uh, waves and particles. Okay. Schwarzenegger and so, Schwarzenegger. listen. So, do you know, we were talking about the wave... Do you want to take over? I'm, I feel like I'm talking a lot. Should I keep going? No, you keep going. All right. So, <laughs> fucking... Uh, do you remember we were talking about the wave function before? Yes. Okay. So, a wave function... Listen, just stop, if, stop me if I'm oh, wrong. Oh, yeah, sure. Um, <laughs> Just hit him. Right I'm not even going to use this, man. I'm good. Um, <laughs> so, all right. So what the wave function is, is it's a probability distribution, right? What that means is, so it's you not have... really a problem. No, is it? Okay, so oh, you explain. Ooh, uh, counter. Because yeah. <laughs> I want to see a counter breaker. Yeah. Yeah. Combo breaker. You're going to multiply it by its complex Yes, conjugate. yeah, you're right. You're right. And you're right. And, okay, and normalize you, it a little bit. Really quick. Yeah. Like okay. Can you repeat that sentence? You got to multiply the wave function. <laughs> But it's complex conjugate. Yes. Okay, I just feel like there's gotta, a lot of noise when you said it the oh, first yeah, time. Oh, yeah, don't around. worry, man. <laughs> yeah. Um, and TX 970 box is that over there? Focus. Focus? Oh, okay, sorry. Okay, okay, okay. So, <laughs> all right. You're right, though. You're right, though. And and there's different interpretations. <laughs> wait, wait, who do you think? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. wait. Um, there's different interpretations depending <laughs> on whether you believe it's a probability distribution or not, right? Right. Okay. Um, if you believe the most, is it, can we say it's like the most accepted, the Copenhagen interpretation of it with the probability? I think it's the most accepted. I yeah. think the other ones are still technically okay. Yeah. But okay. most people believe. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. Technically. Yeah. Right. Okay. They're okay. Right. So, so like, all right. So listen Sounds to me. Sounds technically okay. okay. What, like, what this, <laughs> <Not for> long, <laughs> what this means is we have a bunch of different explanations for the explanation of what's going on. Because that's how ridiculous these ideas are. Listen, like, so, like, we have this explanation of what we're observing, right? And wait, and the people who come up with these, they're very competitive. Like, like, they, they, they're not just, <laughs> they like, each think, other. it's a competition no, of like, ideas, they, dude. They desperately want to be the right one, because... Well, I think not a lot of people think that way, personally. Mm -hmm. I think in science, but... remember we talked about, like, in science, you want to be wrong. You, like, want to mm -hmm. figure out, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You try to figure out every way that idea could be false in order to figure out the best thing. You always put it to the test. You, you want that to happen, and then you want to have an idea yes. that so explains that fixes that that right. whole yeah. thing. That, that's, that's, that stands uh, up to all of our You want to enragingly yeah. punch yeah. a hole in the wall and then cover it up. Yeah. Yeah. Like, so. science stands up because we know that that's not true. Like, that's why in research we need to account for, like, mm -hmm. internal validity issues. Right, are you talking about, like... Like, like yeah, like measurement error and stuff like that. Actually, yeah. want their hypothesis. Right, because be of cognitive. I'm sorry, yeah. I know I kicked it. Um, because of cognitive bias, like you yeah. want. You're right. You're right. You're absolutely right. Like as a field, we've yes. adjusted for that. So but as an idea, science is has to be has to have all this scrutiny, and it does, right? But we're people doing it, so we're we have these biases that come in because as humans, we want to be right. Like we want the confirmation bias, right? Like yeah. we think this is the way it is, so we want to find all the evidence that makes it that way. But we need to make sure that we're very careful of that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. That makes sense? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, so quantum physics. Because the goal is to find the right one. <laughs> anyway. All right. Um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to explain it through the Copenhagen interpretation. And then we'll talk about the other ones, what they mean. Right? Does that seem reasonable? Fair. Okay. Um, and feel free to inject oh, if you yeah, have any yeah. ideas. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. All right, listen, listen, listen. So, no, I'm good, thanks. To um, me. Oh, yeah. Sure. We're getting really, we're getting really small, right? So, quantum physics is explaining super small things, and so fucking imagine that we know where this thing is, right? It's right fucking here, it's right yeah, there. That's right. But then we stop no. looking at it. Don't look at it. So, <laughs> so what happens is when you're looking at that thing, there's a hundred percent probability you're going to find it in that place. It's right? right there. Yeah, but then you stop looking at it, and that probability starts spreading out. You can't know where it is. You can only know the chance it. of finding it in that spot. Okay. Good. Yeah. Okay. Am I too loud? What do you say? You good? He's just doing you. Oh, just doing me. Okay. He's not the mic guy. Leave it to go. All right. Let's um. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> All right. So fucking, you have a probability of finding it in a certain place, right? And the less you look, the more it could spread out. But then you look for it, right? Then you're looking around and you find it. So the wave function collapses and the particles in that point. How are we doing so far? Doing good. Okay. But like that, isn't that a weird thing that you can't, it's not a limit of our measurement equipment, right? It's, it's a theoretical, you can't know where it is until you look. Thing. Yeah, you good? So it's like it's like because yeah. I don't I'm not I I'm, I can't see my car out there. I 
can't 100% right. Right, say for certain See, that somebody didn't take it. Classical physics says if I know where that car is, I can predict where that car is going to be as long as I know all the conditions forever in the future, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. So You put a duck in a perfect... Yeah. yeah. So quantum <laughs> physics says that I can't know until I look. I can never know 100% for sure until we look, right? Yeah. Unless okay. it's in a... Okay. Eigenstate. Eigenstate. Then you know. Oh, I forgot about sure. those Eigenstates. Four words. A Gigantor state? It's like a special state. Of it, like, it translates from German to like... like it's characteristic. It, characteristic state, yeah. Eigen. Just because. I don't know, man. It's a cool to, word. We, we, it's cool. we literally put all these words together to make sure we confuse James the most. <laughs> For like four years, I thought Eigen was a guy. I mean, I mean almost it's everything else is yeah. that yeah. yeah. way. Right, right? I can deal with that. Yeah. It's just some fucking Schmo's name. Schmo. He was working on it. Yeah. He no. or yeah. she was working Wait, on get, it. Remember the Pond concert? We talked about that. Yeah, it was, it was, you know who did it? <laughs> <laughs> but it was freaking Plonk. <laughs> Jerome Plonk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. Jerome Gabriel Plonk. <laughs> Gabriel Julio <laughs> Plonk. He's got ten names. Just, uh, I read that on uh, the internet. <laughs> it's on Wikipedia. Yeah. All right. So that whole wave thing, right? You good with that? Yeah. So, fucking. Send it down. <sighs> All right. Now there are some other things that happen too. Like, you can't you can't know where something is and how fast it's going at the same time. Hmm. You can't know it. No. You can So the more you know about where it is, the less you know about how fast it's going. And the more you know about how fast it's going, the less you know where it is. Is that a symmetry? Is that a, no? No, it's a no. It's a much Man, more but, of a law, but, uh, right? You can yeah, it's, it's a law. It, you can understand it in simple terms. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Uh, Did you say simpletons? No, 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 no. no, no. But. Say you shake a rope, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> you, yeah. Say you shake a rope. All right, we're shaking. Right you can use both hands. I don't care. Didn't, uh, no, no. Didn't follow instructions. All right, we're up. <laughs> I'm sorry. All right, you, shaking a rope. You, we're shaking you do a rope. That thing, right? Um, if you shake it rhythmically, it'll have lots of bumps and stuff, right? Ripples. Yeah. 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 You can measure the wavelength of the waves pretty easily that way, right? The wavelength tells you the energy, and the energy tells you how fast the wave is. Mm, right. Maybe not the wave, but the corresponding particle. Anyway, mm. um, if you just shake it once, you get like a lump that travels forward, yeah. and that tells you very accurately where the wave is. So, uh, okay. so, so you can't so measure you that can't against measure the another energy. thing, yeah, but you can right. measure the Okay. Yeah, it would be hard to measure the energy in that case. Yeah. Right. So it's a give and take sort of thing. Oh, that's pretty good. So when you're shaking the rope uh, like crazy, right? yeah. when you're science, yeah. 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 yo, yeah. that, that yeah. moment yeah. you guys had, that was awesome. Yeah. 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 So like when you're shaking yeah. the rope like crazy, it goes back to if you. You have to explain it to the five year old. Right, right. Exactly. If you can't explain it to a five year old, at least six. At least. So when you're shaking the rope like crazy, you can't say where the wave is. Right. It's like all over the place. Right. Yeah. On the whole rope because you're shaking the whole thing. But when you do the pulse, you could say where it is. But it's harder to talk about its wavelength. Right. Mm -hmm. Where the other way, it's easier to talk about the wavelength. Right? That's exactly what Sean said. Well yeah. explained, dude. That was awesome. Thanks, man. Well, good job. I was in Griffiths. So. It was, uh, dude, Griffiths is the man, he's dude. The man. Griffiths is the man. Um, he's just a textbook writer. Okay. He's just a normal oh, dude that writes he's, textbooks. He's Read that shit in the textbook. <laughs> Yo, but he's so fucking good, dude. He explains things really well. Um, Except when he doesn't. And sometimes yeah, he's really <laughs> shitty. And like, <laughs> he can spend like hours. Yeah. Yo, fuck but, Griffiths, dude. I hate that also, guy. I hate, I hate him. Then fuck him. <laughs> I want this to be a two hour episode. <laughs> I'm ex I like this. This is interesting. Oh, I, I man. I feel that with some of my speech books. I'm like, oh, that one. That one. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. You know, yeah, totally. Like Ray Paul. Mm -hmm. Just like my best friend. I love Ray him. Paul. We got to get like a dude. No we don't even have sponsors yet, but we gotta get these people on board, dude. We're like, we're <laughs> talking to Griffiths to go fuck himself. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's out. Yo, Griffiths, <laughs> actually, no. <laughs> Griffiths, we cool with you, man. Uh, it's all good. Whenever you want to call Sponsored him. by Griffiths and <laughs> Captain Crunch. And... <laughs> Facebook. Uh, now we're gonna get sued. Uh, <laughs> at Amazon. Uh, we make no it? money on this. No, we don't make any money off of this. That's true. Until they give us a cease and desist, then we'll <laughs> <laughs> All right. right. What the fuck were we are. talking what about before all this personally? The, you can't have the yes. wit. Right. What would you say? Sorry. What if Griffiths calls us personally? 
then and it's like stop it. <laughs> then we bleep them out. Stop it. We're like stop, stop getting it. stuff wrong, idiot. <laughs> you have one new voicemail. Uh, from Griffith. Stop it. <laughs> Griffith. Uh, I'd be so sad if Griffith was mad at me, though. That'd right? be yeah. really sad. That'd be a sad thing. All right. So, um, oh wait. All right. So oh, yeah, we were right. somewhere. Yeah, with the wait. So that's the whole thing with how fast it's going or uh, where it is, right? Should I stop snapping? Yeah, okay. Go around. All right. Uh, where it is, where it's going, right? So that is, can you stop, stop behind me? Stop listening to him, <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Um, fucking, what the fuck were we talking about? <laughs> uh, <laughs> where it is, how it's, whatever. So it implies a lot of things, right? Um, science. I'm my head hurts. Can, 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 what, what's going on next? Oh yeah, so the uncertainty principle, right? Yeah. Right. Um. I don't know. <laughs> if if you know the position of the particle more accurately, you would not know the momentum as accurately. Okay. Right. Yeah. yeah. So and it's just an, an inherent unknowing. Like we can't know it, right? You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and this is the best explanation we have for what we're seeing, what we're observing, right? That's what science is. We're trying to explain what we're observing, and this explanation is the best for it. It's weird. It's fuck. Yeah. All right. Um, another thing is. So, do you remember we talked about the difference between fermions and bosons? Yes. Yeah, okay. So, fermions, uh, they follow what's called the Pauli exclusion principle. Yeah. Which means <laughs> that... <laughs> so, it means that they can't occupy the same quantum state. Mr. and Mrs. Which Pauli. means... <laughs> um, fucking... So, so... Uh, how do you explain quantum states? Quantum states? Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, yeah. To a five-year-old. How would you explain it to a five-year-old? Um, so... <laughs> Shit. There's a certain, like, uh, say you have a system, right? You can measure its energy. If you do that, you'll find that its energy comes in discrete quanta. Like, you can only like have, packets. say, like... You know how your salary's paid in only dollars? You can't have anything below a dollar? Yeah. You can. It's the similar thing in quantum mechanics. You can't have below... A certain amount of there's energy. a smallest thing there's a smallest mm -hmm. unit of it yeah. except it's not dollars it's cents it's some other unit Ergs, <laughs> we gotta keep sean around have him call in for future podcasts <laughs> he's making this stuff so much easier <laughs> hey man uh, what was that what were you we talking good. about some i was he's explaining just, quantum, quantum states, to quantum states. yeah right 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 so um uh cer only certain states are allowed mm -hmm. and um yeah yeah yeah. Only so and you and two things can't have the same quantum state. The reason why we have white dwarfs mm -hmm. stars is yeah. because of the Pauli exclusion principle. They can't occupy the same quantum state, right? Yeah. Okay. No, don't know yeah. Why? Why does that? What? Oh, all right. <laughs> <laughs> um. So. All right. Well, still thinking <laughs> like white midgets. All right. So <laughs> this is, listen. This is <laughs> so. Oh, uh, gravity, right? Yeah. Stars happen because of gravity. They're crunching in, and they're crunched in, and they, they do the nuclear fusion and make the stars, right? So, a uh, white dwarf is a later star development area, right? Um, after you... So, you, so a white dwarf has so much gravity, is pulling it in so much, that the only thing that keeps a white dwarf as a thing that doesn't collapse in on itself the only thing keeping it there is the Pauli exclusion principle because the particles are so crunched together that they can't the the next step is they have to so, occupy the same quantum so state say these two particles were in the same position right mm -hmm. um you probably heard about fermions i guess in some other yeah, talk yeah. <laughs> if if uh, <laughs> you exchange two of these fermions mm -hmm. uh you know i guess i have to talk about wave functions but the wave function gets a minus sign right mm -hmm. But the system wouldn't look any different if you just exchanged two of the particles. Mm -hmm. It would be ex the sim same thing, right? So, uh, what's what's something that's minus of itself? Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> what? Like, what's a number that I is say equal to I'm its minus negative. three cows? I, I've never had there's, a cow. There's I an answer. A couple Zero. of cows. Zero. Uh, cat's got. Yes, right. Yeah. yeah so. If um, you have two electrons being in the same place, mm -hmm. you can exchange them and the system doesn't change. But that would imply your wave function is zero, which is bad because that implies nothing's really happening when it's not. So mathematically, that would be inconvenient. 
<laughs> to <laughs> say the <laughs> least. <laughs> Inconvenient. Uh, gotta get rid of that. Uh, um, okay. So, so, um, <laughs> is that like, that's like the, diff- that's like the integer things you're talking about? That's different. The zero. Integers. The integers, right. Right? Like, okay, so bosons have integer spins, right? Which means that they could occupy the same po- for, uh, quantum state, but fermions have half integer spins and they can't occupy the same quantum state. Mm-hmm. So white dwarfs happen, they can't crunch past because the quantum states are being occupied. The only way for it to crunch further is if they occupy the same quantum state. You know what I mean? Yeah, and so because they fucking can't. And that, that would imply, like, nothing's actually there. Yeah. So, but aren't but, black which holes is... denser than... Yeah, so... All right, we... Black holes... Have we observed black holes yet? So, uh, the gravitational waves thing... Mm-hmm. So, all we can really say is every single experiment we've done is consistent with general relativity. Okay. And general relativity predicts black holes. And be... Okay, but so... Right. These, these gravitational waves we've observed are pretty consistent with the calculations we've done. Mm-hmm. On what black holes colliding would look like. Interesting. So black holes colliding, that's cool. Yeah. Okay. That's what these merges are. They circle around. It's each still other. like a dude club. They're like, you know, what <laughs> two fucking black holes hitting each other look like? That's exactly what it's yeah! like. Yeah. That's the right. Yeah. And then, all right. So I I dressed one up in spandex, <laughs> and it's gonna power bomb this up. Dude, it's the coolest. Oh, gonna hit it with a DDT. Oh, it's yeah. gonna be red. It's Monday red. night. Monster Monday trucks. Night. <laughs> So, so, what what black holes are is is that <laughs> you put them in spandex. You put them um, in spandex. So, um, Can't we like no. our general like the if if general relativity is true as it is, it predicts that like you could have more mass than the um, amount of like so. The, the remember how you can't occupy the same quantum state? You can have more mass that will crunch over that, right? And there's nothing that we could predict that would hold this thing up. There's so much gravity that it would just be it, it would become a so singular point. You can actually have black holes where the inside isn't dense. If what? you make a, a sphere of say water large enough, okay, it'll eventually form an event horizon. So right, like, so if you crunch uh, in water to a... But don't you have to crunch it in, though? You can keep it at, at its usual density. Oh. Yeah. We can't We can't do something like that. <laughs> right? Wait, wait. You need can, lots wait, wait. of water. But, <laughs> so uh, you can just have enough water. Yeah. And it maintains the same density. Well, I mean, there might be some, you know, compression or whatever that would happen because of secondary effects. But mm. if you said, okay... Theoretically, if you cut out everything else. If you cut out everything else, you say, this material is always at the density of water. You can make a black hole out of that. Wow. It's the chicken out. joke again. It's the fucking chicken joke again. <laughs> do you remember the chicken joke? Yes. <laughs> now you, wait, can, do, can you tell it as you remember it? Okay. Uh, a fucking mathematician, a engineer, and a <laughs> physicist w- uh, walk into a, a room with a sick chicken and they're trying to figure out why the chicken's sick and like people you wouldn't call and the engineer's chicken. like I don't know I would have to give it like a cast or something maybe oh. and then the other one said some other shit and the physicist was like it's easy if you put the chicken in a vacuum and make it a perfect sphere then we can figure it out like I only remember that bit better than the rest of the garbage <laughs> joke one of my friends has a shirt that involves cow physics and it involves spherical cows. <laughs> so, like. But it's, it's, you know, water in a fucking big enough sphere it fucking Dude, makes an event horizon. I, Jesus. I, I told that joke like episodes ago, and it was a complete dud. <laughs> <laughs> You told it just now. Stop laughing. Don't <laughs> fuck tell the joke. Yeah. Just make Ill. it right. They're conspiring against you. Oh, right? man. Dude. No, it it's took him like three minutes to get that joke out. Because he was laughing so hard. <laughs> oh, my uh, stomach hurts, dude. Ow. Uh, uh, fucking. Ooh. What were we talking about, man? Uh, Spheres. Chickens. Chickens. Water. Chickens. Water. Chickens. Oh, black yeah. Holes. yeah. You have, okay. You know, I read a paper the other day uh, involving nutty black holes. Nutty, nutty and hairy black so holes. Nutty. nutty and hairy. Yeah. Yep. Nutty and hairy. Oh, oh wait. That's not important. I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Wait. Can you. Is this a pretty people they're named after? No. No. I think not Professor a... Nutty and Professor Harry. Harry. Dr. Harry. Are you kidding me? 
no, no. What is it? What is it from? I think a nut is some type of particle or something. I'm not sure. Oh, man. And Harry involves information regarding Dude, the black hole. I'm not... Okay, uh-huh. listen. I'm, I'm, really I'm not... Really I'm <laughs> less, Listen, oh, listen to me. Two, listen no, no, to no. me. Your tax dollars are worth <laughs> I usually don't subscribe to conspiracy theories, but science has been a conspiracy to get to the point where we call something a nutty, hairy black hole. <laughs> There's been something going on behind that. There had to be a motive. Fucking, fuck gravity, stepping stone to <laughs> we got that. Funny name out there. <laughs> All right, this is the longest joke in history. <laughs> okay, hold on. So fucking ah, quantum's weird, dude. A lot of this yeah. is fucking weird. A lot of the whole thing. But, all right. Um, what else is important? If you had to explain quantum to someone in like, what's the most important things to get across to them? What's the most important things to get across? To yeah. Them? What do you think that the, the the bulletin dots? The bulletin dots. Uh, determinism is wrong. You you. What does that mean? Give me a quick, <laughs> quick rundown on determinism. So wait, does that mean like? Oh wait! I yeah, just, are you I'm going to do it? <laughs> you I'm it going to do it. No, 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 no. So I, and it's your fault. Determinism is like if you know a certain amount of information, you can determine oh. anything else you want. So that's just like yeah, I know this. Yeah. So so there's probably a certain amount of randomness. Right. Like Prediction actual... based on prior knowledge can't be right. Well, you know. <laughs> it means yeah. it's not 100% guaranteed. Remember we talked about yeah, the difference yeah, like between... Fallacy. Uh, yeah, the difference between deductive <laughs> and inductive things. Sorry. Like, we can't know it 100% for sure. Uh, so, okay. Deductivism so, is wrong. Guess, so, uh, determinism <laughs> Deter- <laughs> I got you. is wrong. You know, you know, I got you. It's deductivism. That would have been perfect. Right? No, it's perfect. wrong. It's determinism. All right. So, determinism yeah. is wrong. Determinism I'll, is wrong. Yeah. At least quantum mechanics is right. Yeah, who knows? <laughs> Dude, isn't it at the end of the Griffiths quantum book? He's like, He's imagine like, we were just fooling ourselves this entire time. Imagine <laughs> it was fucking... <laughs> yeah, no refunds. Everything might be wrong. <laughs> Dude, the, it's like the last paragraph of the book. It's like, I mean, maybe we'll look in the future and be like, wow, we didn't really understand this what shit a, at all. <laughs> this book is firewood. Uh, That's it. <laughs> throw it away. Oh, so fucking good. Keep it right wrong. I remember the first time I read wrong. that, I was like, man... That is like some ballsy author, <laughs> dude. At the very fucking end of the book, <laughs> oh, end of Harry Potter. It was just a dream. He wakes up at eleven. Nothing happened. <laughs> yes. Oh, oh shit. Man. That's right. right. It feels. <laughs> but the thing is, the thing is, as it stands today, all of our experiments point to quantum mechanics being true, and all of them point to general relativity being true, right? Mm. And what Sean's trying to do is figure out how they work together. Right, because general relativity is the best explanation we have for gravity. I'm, stop me from wrong. Yeah. General relativity is the best explanation we have for gravity. That's our best explanation. Quantum is our best explanation when things get small. So what happens? How do we put those two ideas together? Because right now they're not going together. We know that gravity exists. We, we, you know what I mean? But we have to figure out an explanation for why it is the way it is. Hmm. You feel me? Yeah. Okay. So wait, they don't work with each other. They don't work. Right, but they, but they both no. do work. <laughs> but they both do work. <laughs> Separate. Separate. You explain. You explain. They don't work well together. So do we, yeah. is, can we only be in one of those like instances? So, is that like why they don't work together? We can only, if it's this, then it so we know be gravity that. should have a quantum mechanical nature. Yeah, because quantum mechanics says like, a, say you have two halves of the universe with equal matter content or whatever. If you measure, say, this half, and you find all the matter in this half, which you could technically do with quantum mechanics, which we reckon is correct because of our experiments, Mm -hmm. then that would imply the gravitational field would change really, really fast, like Mm A-causally, like so fast causality breaks. Wow. And so that's, that's... you know, bad. So so like, fast that, <laughs> like, we believe you that... You the so- word breaks. I know it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> so causality is, like, event A causes event B, right? Yeah. Like, this thing causes this thing. Well, and this happens thing happens so fast that it breaks that, that something could cause something else, right? Mm-hmm. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 And that's something that we need to be true in science, that something causes something else, right? And if that breaks, that's like, all right, this can't be we the way it is. We just go home. We just, that's <laughs> it. <laughs> because we if, if something can't... <laughs> cause something tips. else and how could we ever explain anything ever <laughs> so so just throw we we just don't write it down anymore <laughs> we're like the freaking beatles we don't we don't even read it we just remember it uh, good luck oh, figure it out yourself you asshole but 
But I'm sorry. wait, scientists on. wish they were the Beatles, right? All of them, I know. The maestro. It. <laughs> have... Is there a way that causality could be broken, though? Is there any situation no. where it could not <laughs> be true? Probably. You could uh, just have a universe with like white noise all the time. That oh, probably has no causality. Okay, so the very fact that we're here talking about it proves that causality has to be a thing. Yeah, the fact that we can like make sense of things mm. probably shows that causality is a thing. Right. Like, the very fact that there's order in the universe as far as we observe means that causality has to be... Okay. Yeah. What about entropy? Ooh. <laughs> 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 so, like, Dude. there's order in the universe, but right. eventual disorder. All right, do you want to take this one? Yeah, do so... Uh... You do it. <laughs> <laughs> you can uh. say uh, the universe eventually reaches a disordered state because it was event originally in an order... It was designed state. to fail? It was designed to... No. The universe uh, is an iPod? Um, <laughs> well, no, no. Well, a zoom. Oh, dang. Oh, yeah. Man. Um, so that killed Apple definitely. and Microsoft right there. They're not in. Neither Sponsored by Zoom. Zoom. No, no, get Oh, yeah, so the universe starting in an ordered state Dying. causes it to be in a disordered state later on. So... Hmm. Hey, sound guy, Robbie. shut the fuck up. Sorry. Yeah, hey, seriously. We're, you to talk. <laughs> we're talking about Zoom. Um, so all right, all right. <laughs> so the superior ride. Fucking all right. Hey, sponsored yeah. by Zoom. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So listen. Entropy. What what entropy is? So like everyone says like entropy is disorder, right? But Isn't like it slow eventual disorder really? over a like super long time. Like the weird like the weirdest thing I've ever like learned about entropy is like. I'm, like thermodynamics, when we were talking about the entropy, they describe entropy as the amount of potential states that a system could be in, right? Degenerative mm. states or whatever. More or less. Yeah. Um, so like, you, let's say you have a few particles, right? These particles could both be pointing up, or one could be pointing down, or they could both be pointing down, or whatever, or they could be in a different spot or whatever. But like the amount, the number of different things that they could do is entropy. You know, like the natural log of that so is like, entropy. Uh... Like, why doesn't all the air in this room just congregate in that corner? Yeah. Why doesn't it? Is it because of the order of the universe? The answer is that there's a lot more ways for it to fill the room than there are for it to stay in the corner. At least, uh, the res least resistance? Kind of like that, right? Because, like... God, uh, Sean, we need you here more. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dude, you're a uh, frequent caller. Yeah, man. <laughs> but, yeah, so, like, uh, there's more ways for it to fill the room than for it to stay in the corner. And that's why we observe it to be filling the room. Like, it'd be really unlikely to find it up in the corner. Right. But that um, state is still in the so, entire log of entropy. Right, right. Yeah. So, so then we reckon that the state we're in right now must have a higher entropy because there's more ways for this to be happening. And we always go to a higher, like, that's, that's what you mean when, like, we're always going to a higher entropy state. That, like, there's more ways for it to fill that... Yeah, explanation. Yeah. There's more ways for it to happen. Yeah, so more ways it, it for it happens. to happen. Right. Like, yeah, exactly. Right. <laughs> it's more. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So it doesn't all ball up in the corner because that's stupid. It's <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, <laughs> if you take the volume of the corner, it's uh, way yeah, less than the volume. Of the, yeah. But <laughs> anyway. Yeah. All right. Man, anyway. dude, yeah, like, Sean, sort of, like, killing it. To the mean? It's yeah, essentially yeah. Like eventually, yeah. like laws of large numbers, you progress to the mean. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, that's what entropy is, right? Yeah. Um, and like, I guess where does the connection of disorder? Like, I guess the connection of disorder happens because if you have more uh, like ways for it to be, there's less. So there's a lot of order if it's all in the corner there, right? It's a, mm. super ordered, but it's much more disordered here as it is now. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I guess that's what that disorder explanation comes from. Um. So, does that explain your question of entropy? Like, what about entropy? Like, we have an ordered universe in a sense Trump. that we can predict things, <laughs> but we can predict that we would be in the highest order of entropy, the highest order of this disorder. Mm. <laughs> yeah. It's still causal. Yeah. It's still causal. It's still a, a predictable thing. Okay. Wow. All right. This was good. This was Therapeutic. My brain hurts. Dude. <laughs> Therapeutic. Ah, oh, that was so good. All right. What time is it? 
It's like 28 minutes. It's been like three minutes. It's been one more minute since we talked about the minutes. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm calling it. I can't do anymore. I'm so ripped. All right, let's just, while we're here, just start the next episode. Let's just bang out another episode. <laughs> All right, ready? What are we talking about? Uh, Yo, the next... Evolution. <laughs> evolution. The next thing I want to talk about is units, actually. Like, uh, what seconds are, mm-hmm. what, uh, like, how we define a meter, like, what those things mean. That's what I want to talk about next. To be flying by the seat of our pants. Yeah. You know and how the meter was originally defined? That was, it was based on something, right? Didn't we have a meter? Thing? Yeah, if you walk from the equator to the North Pole... Uh-huh. Uh, that's defined to be exactly 10 million meters. Wow. So, yeah. That's how we originally did it. We just took yeah. that, made that 10 million, and we just... <laughs> wow. <laughs> Easy. That's crazy. See, like, isn't that cool? Like, how we def- how we figured out what these... Like, we take these things for granted all the time. Like, what is a, what is even a mile? When do we decide what that is? You know what I mean? Mr. Stewart once told me that it was just, like, arbitrary. It's super arbitrary. Yeah. yeah. So, I'm calling him out. Oh, Sorry. Yeah, we can get that. We can believe right? that. Yeah, we, we can believe that. Just it's all of this. Mr. So and So. No, but it, yeah, whatever. Who? <laughs> 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 you know. Um, fucking yeah. But like, what I actually, what I eventually want to do is, I want to talk about the units, and then I want to talk about like, what like based on that, like what energy is, because like we talk about energy a lot, especially with like quantum and things. But I want to know. I want to have an idea of what energy is. You okay. know. Yeah, that's hard. That'll be a whole other thing. 